was a and double. Now we hear her. She wanted it. And it's the year of Romeo on the LPBT tour. Ball fearless, Kelly. Yes, she does. Janet O'Keefe is going to win this one. That she does what she has to do to win. The year 1974 saw a U.S. president resign for the first time in history when Richard Nixon stepped down after the House Judiciary Committee announced it would be adopting three articles of impeachment against him for his role in the Watergate scandal. Patty Hearst, the 19-year-old daughter of publisher Randolph Hearst, was kidnapped by the Symbionese Liberation Army. The Godfather Part II hit theaters and was widely considered by critics to be the greatest movie sequel of all time. And Stephen King's best-selling novel, Carrie, was released, scaring the daylights out of teens and high school bullies the world over. And in the world of women's professional bowling, Pat Costello, who originally hailed from the Sunshine State of California, put together the greatest season of her Hall of Fame career. Costello showed promise in the sport at a young age, becoming the first female junior bowler in history to roll a certified 300 game at the age of 13. After turning pro, Costello won her first title in 1968 and was the owner of two career victories heading into the 1974 season. Her first win of that year came in Irving, Texas, and it was a big one, the BPAA U.S. Women's Open. Two months later, she would notch her second win of the year in Flint, Michigan at the Columbia 300 PWBA Championship. She would follow that up with her third win of the season in the very next tournament taking home the Charlie Parker Pro Shop Open in Cranston, Rhode Island, and then capped off the season by winning her fourth and final title of the year in Canton, Ohio. Costello would go on to claim 13 career professional tour victories, and when she retired from the tour, she was one of the all-time leading money winners in women's professional bowling history. She was inducted into the WIBC Hall of Fame at the age of 38 in 1986, and then the PWBA Hall of Fame in 1997. But it was her stellar 1974 campaign that landed her on our list as the 13th greatest season in PWBA history.